This is a video about how to take a pre-tracked camera and mirror image it left and right. This is sort of common because sometimes you'll track a plate and then you know on an action sequence like this they'll change their idea about to whether they want to go from left to right. So for this one it's going from right to left but in the finished one they want it to go from uh, left to right sort of like in uh, this version right here. So it's slightly tricky about how to do this. And so what you do is you take your camera and all your other uh, animated geometry, including the car and everything here, and you group it. So it's very important that you just group it because what's happening is that it's uh, setting the pivot at the origin when we hit group. And then let me just call this, say, mirror group. and then you scale it in minus 1x. Do not scale it in y and do not scale it at z. So that's just a convention. That's an x. Nothing can go wrong if you always do it that way. So everything's gotten mirror imaged. So the only problem we have is that the camera will be a little bit wonky here. So what we'll do is that we'll copy the camera, we'll duplicate it, this mirror okay and then we'll point constrain it we'll parent constrain it here so notice it got a scale minus one there we have to get rid of that we've got to put that back to one so now if we look at the camera They're locked together, except for they're flipped against one another here. So then there's a parent constraint. And because it flipped 180, we can put uh, 180 here on the RX. And now they're together. Now, this, the way I did this duplicate, we have to make sure that's going to copy any animated focal length over here and then also copy over the um, image plane. So this one here, we don't have an image plane for yet. So I'll give it an image plane. And we'll change its depth. And so now it's properly imaged, mirror imaged here. I've got one or two things wrong on the line up there, but uh, this is basically correct here. And then, so then these would have to be dragged out afterwards, and then maybe a freeze transfer or something, because uh, these will have to be rebaked because they will have like a minus one x uh, scale factor. But this camera here could be baked when we're done. Now, the other thing is that when you do a mirror image, if you're doing stereo, you uh, not only have to mirror image the left and right eyes, but you also have to swap the left and right eyes. And if you don't, the stereo effect will be inverted. Near objects will appear far, and far objects will appear near. The other thing you have to do when you do mirror image is that the uh, inequalizer, the U value, has to be inverted in polarity. So we see here. that U is asymmetrical, and it is here as well. So any of these U values, wh whatever value it has, you just give it a negative sign here and here. And so then you'll render out a new D-lens, a new uh, 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 undistorted, unwrapped plate with these values. So, And if you've got animated distortion, you just uh, go to the curve editor and you would put in minus one you'd invert the polarity of any of those curves right here with um, transform curves and you do um, I think a uh, factor of minus one I think would do the job